Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Hornbill Smart Door Lock Set. So this is provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So if we look on the side here, it says fingerprint unlock, code unlock, key fob unlock, app control, physical keys, and auto lock. So let's get it open. So here we have the user manual. So this is a full set. So we have a doorknob. Here we have the inside of the lock. We have RFIDs, the lock receiver. Here's the lock. Here's the outside of the lock with the keypad. The door latch, looks like door latch hardware. And this looks like a gateway. So let's take a look at the manual. So we have the main manual and then we have this door template. If you don't already have holes in your door, these look like instructions for the doorknob. So let's take a look at the Smart Lock instructions. So this uses the Smart Life app. That's available on the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Now I'm not going to cover everything in here, so you will want to read this on your own. So this lists the different parts. There's a product overview. So this has a USB-C port on it. So if the power runs out, you can connect USB-C power bank, power the door to unlock it. This talks about the dimensions for the latch, more about installing the lock, talks about testing the lock, talks about the app. So I'll be going over a lot of this. So this has different kinds of codes. You have time limited, one time, dynamic, clearing, and custom. You can set up to 100 fingerprints. You can add up to 100 cards. It has auto lock and remote unlock. This talks about the basic operations. Smart home integration, including Amazon ALEXA, and it needs a gateway for that. This did come with the Bluetooth low energy gateway. You can also work with Google Home. We have some FAQs. So let's look at these parts a little closer. It says add the lock to the app, then go to settings, motor, unlock direction, choose left or right. And here we have the touchpad. Let's get this part here. So this will open up and this will take four AA batteries. So this part is a Bluetooth low energy gateway. So it has micro USB here and USB here. So you plug this into something like a phone charger because this lock uses Bluetooth, but this converts the Bluetooth to Wi-Fi so you can use it over the internet. And it comes with its own little user manual here. And this will also set up in Smart Life. Let me pull this off. So these two components are going to go on either side of the door. So this will go on the outside, this will go on the inside, and then this will plug in the back here. So I'll plug this in and we'll get this set up on my bench before I install it on a door. So this will go in with the clip out. Now I'll install batteries. I'll just push up on where it says open. I'm going to install four AA batteries. Now you will want to pay attention to these and replace them before they wear out. But if you have an emergency situation, you can use that USB type C port to power it. And that's right here. So the idea behind that is that you might carry a USB power bank in your car or you go to the neighbor's house or have a friend bring one over if you get locked out. Now I think the best method is to actually just have multiples of these if you have multiple doors. So if you go to your front door and the batteries are dead, you can go to your back door one, get in there, and then you can get inside and replace the batteries in the front door one. And this makes the assumption that you don't carry your keys with you. Now this did come with three keys here. Okay, so I'm going to get this set up on my iPad. Now typically you would set this up on a smartphone because that's a device you would carry with you. I'm doing this on my iPad for sake of recording. So you'll want to go to the App Store and download the Smart Life app. I've already done that. You'll create an account in the app. So I already have an account and I'm logged into it. It's pretty straightforward to do. And when I open it up, it automatically says devices to be added one. So I'll hit add. Now, if you're installing this for the first time, it will probably ask for permission to use your Bluetooth and such. So I'll hit done. And just like that, it installed the smart lock. So on the bottom here, it looks like we can drag this to the left to lock it. Lock. We can drag to the right to unlock. unlock. Okay, so that seemed to work. I'm gonna close this and see what it looks like on the screen. So I have my different devices here in Smart Life and it says Smart Lock there. So if I tap on it, it's going to bring up this interface. So I'll tap on the pencil in the top right. We'll tap on the arrow next to Smart Lock. And here we can name this. It's currently named Smart Lock. You could name it to something else. We can also change the location. So if you have multiples of these, you can name them based upon what door they are. Maybe you have it front door, back door, garage, etc. So if we drag up on this a little bit, we can see the other settings here. So there's a notification, it says unlocked by Bluetooth. Then it says temporary code, member management, smart scenes, and more. Let's tap on more. Here we have remote unlock, remote voice unlock, auto lock, unlock direction. Okay, so we want to change that depending on the type of door we have. So if I remember correctly, the door I'm going to put this on is right. So I'll leave it at that. Operation 16. 
you can change the volume. So it has mute, low, normal, and high. Let's tap on auto lock. So it says auto lock delay five seconds. So you can set it to automatically lock. So if you unlock it and leave, you can have it automatically lock behind you. Now make sure you know what you're doing before you turn that on so you don't accidentally lock yourself out. So let's set this up, the code. I'll hit temporary code. So we'll set up a one-time code. It says code name, let's say HVAC. So maybe this is a contractor we're wanting to get in and we'll hit get code. And here it gave us a temporary one-time code. So I'll hit okay. I'll back out of here, make sure it's locked. And now I'll enter in that code. So if you have someone coming to the house to do some maintenance or something, you can set a one-time code. Let's go to member management. So here we have my account, I'll tap on it. I can add a fingerprint. So it wants me to put my finger on the fingerprint reader. I'll hit add. Please enter user Okay, so I entered in my thumb. It's not a bad idea to enter in multiple fingers. Maybe you have a band-aid or something on a finger and can't use it, then you can use a different finger. And we can name our finger. So I'll hit lock on here. Lock. I'll place my thumb on the fingerprint reader. Zero, zero, one. Unlock. And there it unlocked the door. We can also add a code. So I'll enter in a temporary code here for testing. Okay, it said it cannot be the same six numbers, so there is some Help here to make it so you don't have bad pass codes. Operation you can also have it set random codes. So let's try this. We'll lock it. Lock. Now what you can do is enter in your code with a series of other numbers. Zero, zero, so you want to hit the pound sign or the number sign of a hashtag after you enter your code and that will unlock it. Now let's add a card. So I have the RFID card here. I'll hit add. Please enter user information. So I'll swipe the card Operation here. 16. I'll give it a name. I'll hit okay. Now I'll lock it. Lock. And I'll use the card to unlock it. Zero, zero, unlock. And there it unlocked the lock with the card. Next I'll set up the gateway. So I'll plug that into a USB charger. Now this is going to happen inside of the Smart Life app, so I'll hit Add Device. It wants to access the local network, I'll hit Continue. Looks like it discovered the device, so I'll hit Add. It's going to ask for your Wi-Fi information to enter in the gateway. It pre-populated it, I'll hit Next. And if it's not pre-populated, you can enter it. So it's adding the Bluetooth gateway. I'll hit Done, so I'll tap on the gateway. I'll hit Add Devices. I'll say Add Existing Devices, and I'm going to choose the Smart Lock. I'll hit Confirm. It says the device is added. I'll hit finish. I'll close out of here. So now we have the smart lock added to the Bluetooth gateway. That was very easy to set up. Okay, so that's the basic setup and operation of this lock set. I'm going to go get it installed. I'm not going to film every second of it, but I'll throw in some key parts and if I run into any issues. Okay, so here I'm at the door. Now this isn't the door I'm going to have this on permanently. I'm just using this one for filming. This is an entry door between a garage and a house. So the smart lock with the deadbolt will go up here. This will be the doorknob. So this will have up written on it. We can slide this in and we can put screws in here. So first I'll get the doorknob installed. The screws for this are already in the knob, so I'll unscrew those. So there's access on the one side to tighten the screws. So we'll go on like so. You'll want the screws on the inside of the door. So I'll pull the old latch out here and I'll put the new one in. Now this would normally get screwed, but since this is temporary, I'm not going to screw that in there. Okay, so that's working. Next, I'm going to install the lock on the outside of the door. So I want to run the cable under here. I want to run the middle part through the lock and these two posts will go through those two holes. So it'll fit like that, it has a nice gasket around it. Now this can wiggle back and forth. Before you tighten it down completely, you want to check and make sure it's nice and parallel with the door. On the inside, we want to put this plate on. So we'll pass the cable through here and we'll install these screws through here. So I'm holding the other side so I don't accidentally push it out. So before I do my final tightening, I'll make sure it's straight on both sides. 
Now for the next step, I took the batteries out. I'm going to be using these short screws and I'll put them in here and here, and those will thread into here and here. I'm also going to plug this in, and I'll make sure this is unlocked. Then I'll line this up with that. I will need to push some of this wire back through the hole. Okay, then you'll want to check, make sure the lock works and I can reinstall the batteries. Now this already had a deadbolt, so I don't need to put the hardware in here, but on a new installation, you might need to do that. So we'll shut the door, we'll test locking and unlocking it. So let's test it from this side. First, we'll try the key. Okay, so the key worked. We'll try the passcode. And finally, we have the app. So that was an overview of the installation and operation of the smart lock. Now the only thing left to do is to take that Bluetooth gateway and it needs to be installed somewhere within range of the lock and your Wi-Fi. So that was the Hornbill smart door lock set. I really like how easy this was to set up and install. If you've ever installed a door set with a knob and a deadbolt, it goes on pretty much the same. There's just a few more steps like plugging in the little cable, but it's pretty straightforward. It was super easy to set up in the app. It automatically detected it. And the app gives you tons of configurability with this. So I just set up one account, but you could set up accounts for each family member and you can set up how you want them to be able to operate this. So your family members might all use the fingerprint reader. You might have a guest that occasionally uses this. You could set them up with a pin code. You could give a family member a key and you can also connect to this with the app. And with just the lock, you can connect to it locally. And with that gateway connected, you can connect to it over the internet. So maybe you pull up to your house in your car, it's pouring rain, you can pop into the app, you can unlock the door before you even get up to the door. So it's ready to go, you don't even have to use the thumbprint, although it unlocks very quickly. Or maybe you get a notification on your phone from a smart doorbell or a security camera or something, someone wants to drop something off to your house, you can unlock the door, grant them access, they can drop something off, and then you can lock it when they're done. Needless to say, you go and do this if you trusted the person. But there's tons of versatility in this. So if you're looking for a versatile smart lock, I think this is a great option. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.